What's up, Tasty Taster? So today, you guys, we are making some legumes. L-E-G-U-M-E-S. The legume of choice that we're making is Great Northern Beans, you guys. So we're going to do Great Northern Beans with smoked turkey tails. So guys, I'm going to explain to you a little bit more in depth later about what legumes are and how they nutritionally benefit people that have autoimmune diseases and other diseases. But right now, I'm just going to tell you what you need to cook with. So the very first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some apple cider vinegar with honey. I have my Bragg's. You need a clove of garlic, onion, some Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash, some cumin, some pink Himalayan salt, our peppercorns, our black peppercorns. We're going to need some baking soda. I'll explain that later. You're going to need some smoked turkey tails. I got this from my meat master at Schnucks. You're going to need some great northern beans. I'm using the Hearst brand. You guys are going to need some beautiful onion powder. Minced onions, garlic powder, red chili flake, some water. I'm using bottled water, spring water, ice mountain. You're going to need some garlic salt. You're going to need some low sodium chicken broth, organic. This is my other chicken broth that I use, guys, when I'm not using sweet soup. You're going to need some white pepper. You're going to need some Sulad Gil and some Cherub's Rib Breath. So... Guys, I am so ready to make this dish for you. You're going to need your pressure cooker if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. Grab yourself a crock pot or a crock pot or a regular pot that you can put on the stove. You guys, we're about to get into this. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, so we have rinsed our beans, washed them. They put them in cold water, and they're going to sit in the refrigerator and soak for about two hours, okay? So now what we have in my trusty old pressure cooker here is we have three turkey tails. We have one whole onion that has been peeled and cut in half, and then we have seven cloves of garlic, you guys. So now I'm about to add, start adding the seasonings. A total of six cups of water so we went in with two cups already now we're going in with the second two cups and then we're going to go in with another two cups
Okay guys, it's time to open up our pressure cooker here and add our beans to the pot. Oh, you see the depth of that broth, you guys? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is take out these turkey tails. I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna leave the onion in. I'm gonna take out the garlic too. I'm gonna remove my turkey tails, you guys. Pull the meat off of these. Add it back to the pot, and I will be all right, 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 right back. Look at that turkey tail. Woo! That's meat and goodness right there. See you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so we have pulled the meat from my turkey tails. These are our beans. If you can see how these beans have opened up, they've plumped in, they've absorbed some of that water. So it's going to take less time to cook them. And also they're going to be more tender. So guys, I'm about to drain these beans and we're going to add the beans and the meat back to the pressure cooker with the onions and with the, the garlic. And then we're going to come in with my other two ingredients that I told you about. Okay guys, so I have my meat and I pulled off the bone. Let me tell you why I use turkey tails. Turkey, smoked turkey tails are so delicious and flavorful. So we're just gonna add that back to our pot. All of our turkey tails, put that back in the pot. Now we're gonna add in our beans. Now guys, I also set aside three cups of the liquid um, for a reason. Um, case because you know if you heat this up tomorrow or whatever the case may be um and then there was a lot of a lot of liquid in here so now guys we are about to pop the lid back on this and we are going to let this cook now for another hour and a half we're going to turn it up though to a number three to give it a little give it a little cooking time um so it's gonna we're gonna let this cook start at three for an hour then we're going to, for 45 minutes, we're going to cook it on three. And then we're going to drop it down to low for another 45 minutes. And then we should have some really delicious beans. I'll see you guys when the finished product's ready. So, so guys, before I forget, I almost forgot to tell you. I dropped in here one table, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and I dropped in here a half a teaspoon of baking soda and let me tell you what those two things do it breaks up those gaseous things that produce when you eat beans or you eat certain things and it gives you gas so because we got all that onion in here and we got all that that um, good garlic and we have the beans themselves they produce gas. Of course, people sometimes don't eat beans because of that. So one of the things that my grandmother taught me was if you just take a half a teaspoon of baking soda and drop it in your beans right before you start cooking them, you guys, it will take out all that gas producing stuff. So drop in a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a full teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I use, of course, you know the brass with honey, but you can use any apple cider vinegar you choose. Okay guys, so this is after an hour and 30 minutes. I tried the beans. They need a 20 more minutes we're gonna pop it down to super super low put the lid back on here so your total cook time is an hour and 50 minutes in the pressure cooker and that's only because it was on low if it was on medium medium low heat then it probably would have been completely done but I wanted them to cook slow low and slow so that they can get that flavor so you guys I'm going back in for another 20 minutes and I'll see you then Okay, Tasty Tasters, this is the finished product of our great northern beans, our legumes. Remember I told you I was going to tell you what legumes are? Legumes are anything that you get that's harvested from a plant 
that may be in C form, B form. So legumes or beans, anything that's in the bleed B family, bean family, like beans, lentils, um, sunflower seeds could possibly be in a legume category, those type of things. So that's legumes, but I'll give you more details down in the bottom. So guys, let me go ahead and get a taste of this in here. Mmm, I need some meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me show y'all that. Mmm, y'all, these are so flavorful. Mmm, 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 mmm. So I had some cornbread waiting on me to go with this. You guys, I love you so much. Thank you once again for watching Tasty TV. So, I want you to go ahead and do what I'm always asking you to do. Comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Slide on over and hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you can know when I'm coming on and posting a new video for you guys. So, until the next time. See you later, see you later, tasty tasters, and I'll see you guys on the next next episode. Have a great one.